Hey everyone, welcome back to Software and Chill, I'm Kev today, yeah, it is, it is time yet again for another amazing episode, but I know it's going to be amazing, we need the end of season 3, I can't believe it, um, loads is going on at the moment, um, we'll get into that in a second, yes, this is episode 8, season 3, Second Sons. I already feel it. I can already feel like the 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 anticipation, the um just the levels of excitement rise and as soon as that music kicks in it's dun 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 dun, dun. you know what I mean. You know how I feel you know what it means, you know. You've had to wait a long time for this, but uh like fortunately I can jump episodes very quickly. I wouldn't know what to do. How did you leave a comment. How did you survive? How did you get through? Like the length of time between episodes and the seasons because it was about a year apparently seasons holy shit biscuit how did you do it i don't know but yeah uh, this is only this is kind of the penultimate episode of season three we've got this and one more to go quite a few things going on the main talking point that are uh, that that jumps out at me that last episode is the the change in jamie lannister now i don't know whether it's just with the way brienne Tret them the way she talked to him, the way he kind of like saw the loyalty in her and was a bit like, wow, taken aback. But he's definitely the formed some kind of like a bond. Definitely formed a bond. Um even and I think even the writers have tried to do that because, you know, we saw where he just kind of walked over balls out and got in the pool with her and she like stood up and then they were like So there's a little bit of funniness going on. Um I don't know if it's kind of an attraction thing or whether it's more like just a like a mutual respect. Um, he's opened up to her a lot more than I guess he's opened up to a lot of people. Um, when he was talking about the Mad King and, and everything, and it was you, could, so you saw that it was real. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed with that. And then he, you know, he went back. He was like, uh, "We've got to go back. You're going to go back." And then they went back, and Brienne's in the middle of fighting a bear, and she, he, he just jumped in. I mean, come on, there's got to be something there. Um, but another another amazing episode. Um, Danny is attacking the, the young Kai, young Kai, um, and what basically she's saying she just wants to free the slaves. But like they've got like two hundred thousand slaves there, she said. So he was basically he came out with his gold, you know, dick swinging, thinking he was ten men, and she was like, "Oh, sunshine, I'll give you something. Your life. That's what. That's the game I play." Um, and yeah go back with your tail between your legs and release everybody and give them food and give them homes and shit or whatever and uh, if you don't you're dead ski um so she's kind of set a stall out now as to what she's going to be doing she's going to be free and slaves as she goes and i guess whoever wants to join her in the fight can not a bad way to go it's not a bad thing to do you're definitely going to kind of get people fighting for you not out of hate or, or fear a bit like joffrey would People would fight for him out of fear or re fear of retribution. Um, whereas if you can get someone to fight for you out of love or willingly, a bit like the Unsullied are doing, even though the Unsullied were kind of born, at, like they were not born, but they were, c were created warriors, you know. Um, so it was kind of like I don't think they would know anything else. I mean, that guy cut his nipple, got his nipple cut off, and he didn't even bat an eyelid, and he actually thanked the bloke for it. Cheers, man. You know, thanks for for us being of service and shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, this is it's just so good, and I can't wait to see kind of what happens in this one. Um, I, I think the whole I know like the whole Tyri, uh, Tyrion and um, Shea and Sansa thing is going to come to a head. Um, I know Marjorie's trying to kind of, kind of talk her into it and be like, look, you know what I mean. And that you might have to do the deed, but you, you, you know you could have a worse. It could be worse. Have you ever? Has he ever hurt you? Has he ever raised his finger to you? You know what I mean? I know there's only one finger that people want to raise. A little finger. Little finger's going to be tra being tried to get into Sansa and Sansa's mum from day one. Um, but I don't know. There's lots going on. Um, Rob's uncle is uh, marrying one of the Walter Frey's kids. Um, but that's going to kind of smooth that shit over, and then. But apart from that, I mean, obviously Rob's lass is pregnant. So yeah, it's it's all it's all system score. What happened to Theon and his dick? Because that guy was like, uh, like, it kind of made it out like they were going to cut it off. 
but that would be too cold. So I think this is going to kick it a bit. <laughs> right, okay, that's it. We're going to move into this. Cause I'm, I, 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 I'm really excited to watch it. You know what I'm like, I can't wait. Uh, thank you for being here and the amount of love and support that you've shown uh, this franchise um, and me especially for watching this franchise has been nothing short of, uh, of unbelievable. Uh, so I, I can't thank you enough. Um, leave a comment uh, or you know just let us know kind of what you're thinking of it um yeah i know you have been great and uh, like you said my moderators are doing their job to stop any spoilers which is good um yeah if you're enjoying it i mean if this is your first time as well and you think whoa he's very strange but i'll watch it you can click the like button and subscribe and i do put the full length reactions over on the patreon i'll leave a link below done okay let's do it it's westeros time <laughs> I can't help myself. I do like the game that Marjorie's playing though. She's very clever, the Tyrells. <laughs> oh my god, the excitement is real. I can feel it in my eyebrows. Right, okay. What's oh yeah. Ooh, the hound got her. Oh, she's going to pick up a rock and smack it off his fucking head. I'll give you one try, girl. Kill me and you're free. But if I live, I'll break both your hands. <laughs> Go on, hit me. Yeah. I'll break both your hands, Cheers. He would as well, because he's a nasty bitch. You're lucky. You don't want to be alone out here, girl. Someone worse than me would find you. There's men who like to beat little girls. Men who like to rape them. Yeah. Is that the Blackwater? The Blackwater? Where do you think I'm taking you? <laughs> Back to King's Landing? No. No. To Joffrey and the Queen? Yeah. Fuck Joffrey. Fuck the Queen. Yes! That's the Red Fork. I'm taking you to the twins. But why? Because your mother and brother will be there. Oh. And they'll pay me for you. Yes! Your uncle's marrying one of the Frey girls. Yeah. Don't! That'll be, that'll be such a good, like, it's almost like the best wedding present ever. <laughs> See if they, like, turn up. Yay! They're called the Second Sons. A company led by a bravosi named Mero. He's a dangerous man, Khaleesi. They all are. How oh, Khaleesi? Sure the Celsors prefer to fight for the winning side? Man who fights for gold can't afford to lose to a girl. Allow me to present the... There he is. Second Sons. Mero Bravos. And um him on the end. Dario Naharis. I swear I fucked you once in a pleasure house in Leeds. Mine. Whoa. Why? I, I didn't mind hers. Bring wine. We have no slaves here. Give me your second sons and I may not have you gelded. We have more, don't we? Ten thousand unsullied. I hope the old man is better with a sword than he is with a lie. You have eight thousand unsullied. But still? Even if your numbers are right, you must admit the odds don't favour your side. We've taken the slave as gold. We fight for Yunkai. All right, then. Piss off, sir. We pay you as much and more. If we break our bond, no one will hire the second sons again. You have two days to decide. You seem to be enjoying my wine. Perhaps you'd like a flagon to help you ponder. Only a flagon. And what are my brothers in arms to drink? A barrel, then. In the second sons, we share everything. After the battle, maybe we'll all share you. I don't think so, somehow. I'll come looking for you when this is over. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like that. Barristan comes to battle. Kill him first. Kill that one first. Yes, Danny lass. They're your grace. They're Danny lass. Kill him first. Cut his cock off. She did tell him, though. He's told him that he's the king's bastard. Whoa, I like that. It's like a proper throne room. Look at the dragon, like the, on, the, on the walls. What the fuck, Biscuit? Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's where I'd be moving. Yeah. Half Robert, half Lowborn. Show the boy to his chambers. Have the maid storm a bath and find him some decent clothes. I'll come visit you soon. I bet you will, dirty bitch. <laughs> what do you mean to do with him? You're gonna burn you him. You know what I mean to do. They're not gonna burn him. I bathe him and dress him in fine clothes. <gasps> They're not gonna burn him. Don't do it. Don't torture the what? boy. My king. What? What? If the lamb sees the knife, she panics. Oh no, they're gonna kill Gentry. 
shit. You need to get the fuck out of there. I can't s Oh no, that's bad. Really bad. Really bad. Road. Fag. Uh -huh. Fuck me. <laughs> a, a, a horse hole. Well done. Oh, how proud. He's so happy. Your grace. They're feeding enough. Two meals a day. I cannot complain. Getting back with a bastard boy. Robert's bastard boy. She's going to kill him. Sacrifice him. Forgive me, Your Grace, I'm not a lettered man, but is there a difference between kill and sacrifice? Oh, that's a good shout. This boy's done you no harm. He's an innocent. How many boys live in Westeros? The darkness will devour them all, she says, the night that never ends. Unless I triumph. We must do our duty, no? I get what he's saying, I do get what he's saying. We must do our duty. Melisandre has definitely fucked his noodle up. What's one bastard boy against a kingdom? Came to free you. If you swear never to raise your hand to the Lady Melisandre again. I swear it. To Davos, I really like him. You could have freed me yesterday or tomorrow. When my son was five, he said to me, I don't ever want to die. I hated the idea of him lying awake in the dark, afraid. I saw a vision in the flames. I never believed, but when you see the truth, when it's right there, in front of you. That's a fact. As real as these iron bars. That is a fact. How can you deny her god is real? She opened her legs and that fucking thing came out and went and killed Renly. So he saw that as well. So surely he must... Uh, his faith must be wavering a bit. You cannot say that she's a complete whack job because he saw it. And he's quite a sound block. We don't have to deal with our eunuchs, we only have to deal with her. But they're gonna try and kill her? One of us slips into our camp, pass her on solid in her nights. I don't think so. Three coins. The Bravosi does the deed. I know who it's gonna be. One for each of us, darling. But he's not gonna get it. He's not gonna get Nick Khaleesi. You look very handsome, my lord. The husband of your dreams. Huh. Perhaps we could have a moment alone. Do you mind? No, I don't. She's gonna fucking knack you. Podrick, could you escort Lady Stark's handmaiden to? <gasps> oh my god, no, she's gonna look with the dirty look. Look at the dirty look. Basically just proper told her to piss off. Mate, you shouldn't have said that. You she's gonna bite your dick. My lady, I want you to know. I didn't ask for this. You don't have to speak yeah. to me as a prisoner anymore. Talk normal. You won't be a prisoner after today. You'll be my wife. We're getting married today. I suppose that's a different kind of prison. Today? You have no idea how I feel. Sit down and have a crack. But I promise you one thing, my lady. I won't hurt you. I won't ever hurt you. Yes. Do you drink wine? I will after the day. When I have to. <laughs> today you have to. <laughs> Terry, you lad. She hates her. We're going to be sisters. <gasps> look at the look. A better dancer than a singer. Look at the look she give her. The song, the reigns. <laughs> House Rain was a powerful family, very wealthy. She's gonna, she's gonna piss her off. Westeros, aren't the Tyrells the second wealthiest family in Westeros now? Only you could take that final step. You'd see further than all the rest. You rebelled against my father. Do you know where House Rain is now? Gone. Gone. A gentle word. They slaughtered. I remember seeing their bodies hanging high above the gates of Castor. I'm basically telling you, stay in your station. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. <gasps> oh. <laughs> They're both measured dicks there. And uh, Cersei's is bigger. <laughs> Aww. He's like, fuck. Your father's gone. It is my duty to give you away to your husband. Fuck off. I look at him, man. I want to punch him so hard in the nose. I'd love Sansa to just, like, side headbutt him. Is he going to say something nasty? He has to, because he's a bellend. She does look... She looks great, bless her. You nasty bastard. May now cloak the bride and bring her under your protection. 
did that on purpose, you absolute fucking dick. <laughs> you find that funny, do you? You absolute bellend. <laughs> I don't find that at all funny at all. Like, I know he has people killed and stuff, but that's just, he's just nasty. Looks like you should be marrying people in Las Vegas. One flesh, one heart, one soul. I could never have seen this happen in mind. Forever. Like, ever. Ever. If someone said to me, like, there's two people going to marry in this show, they're two that I would not have said. Oh my god, she's going to start riding them and then stab them. He's so careful here, mate. Yeah, but she's, she's like the goddess of being a bitch. So she'll... He, oh my god, I don't trust anything that anybody does. Down it, son. Get it down, you. Yeah. That's really good. Where do you think it's from? You only need a tongue to tell the difference. You think this is all a mistake and that you'll have to pay somehow for every bite you take. Oh my god, she's gonna ride him. Only here because my father grabbed my mother instead of the girl next to her in the tavern. Your father chose your mother because the Lord of Light willed it. And he brought me here to draw it from you. But she's a bit forward, like. A bit cocky. Both are part of his plan. He could just be like, I don't even like you, I don't even find you attractive, what you're on about. No, he demands this of us. When you pray to them, what's their answer? Shit. The God is real, or he's not. Get off time. You only need eyes to see. Death is coming for everyone and everything. Don't. The darkness that will swallow the dawn. At least give him some first. <laughs> uh. Let me show you what you have inside you. Uh. God, she loves a bit. <sighs> While I cut your throat. Here we go. Oh no no, she's gonna go down, she's gonna cut him, but he doesn't wanna be cut. Get away! What's this? What's this? Oh, the taking the blood. I told you, there's power in the blood of kings. Using some leeches. She's put a leech on his todger. Oh my god, blue balls. <laughs> Stinging. She got him aroused and then whacked a leech on his balls. <laughs> it's got to be stinging in the morning. <laughs> Don't eat it. You zerp a Rob Stark. Oh. You zerp a Balon Greyjoy. You zerp a Joffrey Baratheon. Whoa. Has he put like a curse on them? Don't know what they're laughing for. Cersei's got to marry uh, Loras. Will you pardon me, my lord? Of course, of course. En enjoy. Jesus, gone back to the room. What? Perhaps you could talk to your bride to be instead. I've got a lifetime for that. What's he gonna do? Your wife needs a child, a Lannister child. If you're going to give her one, you need to perform. Drinking and lust. No man can match me in these things. You can joke. You can engage in juvenile attempts to make your father uncomfortable, but you will do your duty. I hope he doesn't do the duty. Tyrion sleeping with Sansa, I just can't say it. Your father once told Nobody me. cares what your father once told you. <laughs> my god, there's loads of love in the air. Congratulations, my lady. You've married a Lannister. Soon you'll have a Lannister baby. Doesn't really matter which Lannister puts the baby into you. What? Maybe I'll pay you a visit tonight after my uncle passes out. I don't think so. He wouldn't. No? I'm married now. So Marin and Sir Boris will hold you down. Come, everyone! Pick her up and carry her to a wedding bed. There will be no bedding ceremony. There will be if I command it. Ooh. Then you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. Wow, you cannot say what that. What did you say? What did you say? I'm sure Tyrion did not mean to threaten the king. <laughs> A bad joke, your grace. Mine is so small. My poor wife won't even know I'm there. My tiny drunk cock and I have a job to do. They're not. He's not going to. Tyrion. Come, wife. Who is Sansa Mike? I vomited on a girl once. Come, I'll tell you all about it. Put you in the mood. 
<laughs> There's nothing like talking about a bit of vomit to put you in the mood. I think they're going to go in there and he's going to be a lot... He's still going to be drunk, but he's going to say they're not going to have sex. Is that wise, my lord? <laughs> yes. Tin Sansa. My name is Tyrion. Is that wise, Tyrion? Yes, because we're not going to have sex. How old are you exactly? Fourteen. Oh, my God. Chalk won't make you any older. My lord father has commanded me to consummate this marriage. So I'm not. Oh, they might actually. No, uh, no. Nah, I'm still, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going out on my shield here. I don't think they're going to. Here we go, he's going to stop it. Stop. Uh, yes. Can't. I could, I would. But your father... If my father wants someone to get fucked, I know where he can start. <laughs> I won't share your bed. Not until you want me to. Oh, okay. What if I never want you to? Then I never will. And so my watch begins. <laughs> oh my god. Basically like the night's watch. Your High Valyrian is very good, Your Grace. Oh shit, shit, careful. No screaming, or she dies. Don't hurt. I was gonna say. He's gonna he's gonna turn on his own people. He's gonna say I was given the op opportunity to do this when I'm not going to. You sent here to kill me. I don't want to. What do your captains have to say about that? You should ask them. Oh, he's killed them both. We had philosophical differences. Over what? Your beauty. Wow. It meant more to me than it did to them. I only do what I want to do. They ordered me to murder you. I told them I preferred not to. I told them I am Dario Nahais. I always have a choice. They drew their swords, and I drew mine. Oh, yeah, you would. It's fine with a capital I. Will you fight for me? Yes. Swear to me. The second sons are yours, and so is Dario Naharis. My sword is yours, my life is yours. My heart is yours. Ooh. Well done, son. That's a chatter blind if ever I've seen one. <laughs> oh blood, she's gonna smile. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> oh, she's chubby, chubby, shoved the bits. We could stay here for the night. Yeah, it's a good idea. Get yourself in there, get the fire on. Oh, crows. How hard could it be to build a fire? Come under the furs, we can keep each other warm. Oh. <laughs> Don't have to ask me twice, says Sam. I'll build that fire. Yeah, they're definitely going to fall in love, aren't they? Kevin. John. Kevin. Yes, it is. Name Gaiman. It. Kevin. Felden. Kevin. Christopher. Is your father cruel like mine? Different manner of cruel. That's going to bring them together. Why are all the crows? I can hear them all. There's too many of them. I bet there's a fucking shit ton outside. Can't go out there. I'll be back. Oh, mate. Who do you think you are? Fucking alright, Arnie. Oh, there's too many. That's dodgy as f that's f that's really dodgy, man. Gonna say like looking and chirping. No, there's one of them. Oh my god, it's a full-on White Walker. Sam, you are so trouble. The baby. Mate, you're in so much trouble. Back. He's not gonna try and kill him at once. The ban. It's not dry. It's not. Got a bit of, can that? 
Well, can I kill him? That's just opened up so many doors. All following you? Whoa, people. Okay. So while that's fresh in my mind, um, so they found that like that dagger that was buried, um, but it was buried with other stuff as well. So is this? Can this? Is this like one of the wep only weapons that can kill it? That can kill these White Walkers? Because a lot of them can get stabbed and stabbed and stabbed, and they keep coming back. But I had a feeling there is it it's like a certain glass or something um, that they can use to. To, to stab and, and kill the White Walkers, because then if it is, then they're killable. And if they're killable, fucking do them in. Wow, that was good. Okay, um, a good episode. It was really good. Uh, not as crazy as I thought it was going to be, with only the fact that there's three left. So, hmm, I'm worried for the next couple. <laughs> Because that was it was still mad but not total crazy. So I'm expecting like the last couple to be to be pretty entertaining, I would think. Um the, obviously the big thing that came out of that one was the whole marriage. Yeah? So Tyrion and our Sansa Stark have been married. Um I'm really happy that they didn't um consummate the marriage. Uh, the reason being is, is that you know, not only that, I mean Tyrion's been around the block a few times and we've kind of seen Sansa since she was a kid. Um, I mean, still is a kid, but, like, we've seen her since she was, like, really young. Um, and the fact that we like Tyrion, uh, I think it would dull, it would dull how we felt about his character and how we felt about him if he was to sleep with uh, Sansa. Maybe it would for me. Like, if, even though he was kind of forced into it, it doesn't really go by everything that his dad says. But I think if he'd slept with Sansa there, um, I'd have been a bit like, mm, a little bit off Tyrion now. You know what I mean? I don't think there was, nothing you could have done could have kind of like made that up. So, I'm really pleased it didn't. Unless she invites him into the bed, I still think it would be dodgy. I and mean, there's also lots going on um, over with our Gendry, Melisandria, um, to Davos and Stannis. Uh, yeah, when they kind of went and got him, um, I was thinking, I wonder what this is for. It soon came apparent that it's to to, to sacrifice him to the Lord of Light. Um, but instead of killing him, uh, Stannis has listened to um, to to, uh, to to Davos has listened to Stannis and kind of gone, all right, we'll just use some leeches to get the blood instead. But then he's popped the. Uh, on the leeches and threw the leeches on the fire and said Joffrey um, named uh, Rob as well and uh, what's he called? Um, Greyjoy so yeah, uh, there's lots going on at the moment, uh, there's a couple of episodes left, I'm loving it, you know me, super excited, absolutely love this show so much thank you everybody for watching I appreciate you, I appreciate your time, taking any time out of your day to watch this with me, as uh, I can't ask for more than that, so thank you so much um, if you're new and you're enjoying it, I'll leave a link below for the other ones that I've seen. Uh, and I'll also put a subscribe button up there. And I'll, yeah, I'll see you very, very soon for the, the penultimate epi uh, episode in the season.